Hey guys, today I'm going to be making studio lights for my vlogging videos. My house is pretty dark during the day and I struggle to make decent quality videos. So I picked up a couple of supplies today, some basic household supplies, and I'm going to be making three studio lights. One to stand either side of the camera and one to stand behind me to serve as a backlight. So I'm going to show you exactly what materials I'm going to be using and each step to get to the end result. First of all, I picked up a just a normal desk lamp. I've got some spiral fluorescent globes, some duct tape, a little hacksaw blade, a marking cokey, a rounded filing blade, and a salad bowl. What I'm going to be doing is cutting the bottom of the salad bowl out and that will then fit on the lamp. And last of all, you're going to need a little drill. The first step is going to be to mark out the bottom of the bowl using the lamp as a, as a trace. And then we're going to start drilling little holes along the markings. And then later on use the little mini hacksaw blade just to get the bottom out. So the first step is to mark the bottom of the salad bowl. Okay, so taking the marking cokey or, or pen that you have, the pencil will also work just as well. You put the desk lamp directly over the bottom of the bowl and draw a line all the way around. And there you have your, your guide of where you're going to drill. So the next step is to drill a hole just outside the line, you don't want it too big, where it's not going to fit over the lamp, or it's going to fit over the lamp too big. So, you're going to drill inside the line all the way around. And there's the first hole. And the distance between the holes is quite small, about two millimeters. And we're gonna carry on right around the bowl. All right, there you can see I've got around the whole bowl with a couple of pieces of broken out. Uh, the bowl is quite brittle, so I'm just gonna break all the remaining pieces out now. Okay, we've got through the whole bowl. This part, this type of plastic is really brittle. Um, you can see it just snaps. So once you're through most of the way, it's going to start breaking, but you can just then start breaking it off and then the hole will fall. You can see all the mess of what came out the bottom of the bowl. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use our half round file to slowly file the edges smooth, keeping the gap in mind so that this can just, just, just fit over the, the top of the light. So you don't want it to be too loose, otherwise it's going to simply just fall out the back. Okay, once you've finally got your edges of the bottom of the bowl filed out, and it hardly fits over the, the light, you're ready. The next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some duct tape and just put one row around the brim of the light. This just helps the, the bowl fit in there more snug. So all I'm going to do is just take some duct tape and split it in half. And tape it over the edge. Then I'm going to take the ball and it's just one little groove that it fits into. There you go. And just position that so that it fits. And then you're going to take some more duct tape and just tape it around the light so that the ball doesn't come loose. And there you go, the lamp's built. Last step. Put the globe in. And then plug it in and give it a test. 
And now for the big moment. There you have your studio lamp. Okay, so now I'm going to build the next two lamps and then we're going to do a screen test to show you the new quality of video that we produced with these basic lamps. I understand that these are not professional studio lights, but for my purposes certainly, for, for vlogging at home in a small space, it's certainly going to help. And there you have it guys, we're all done. Um, as you can see in this picture, having these homemade studio lights makes a huge difference in the picture quality. As mentioned before, I've made three lights, one either side of the camera and or a backlight that sits behind me. This whole setup cost me around 800 Rand to make, that's around $60 American dollars or um, around uh, 40 pounds if I got my calculations correct, I'm not the best mathematician on it. If you're on a budget and you're wanting to vlog, you really don't need to spend thousands to get the right equipment and so forth. You can just use a little bit of brain power and set it up yourself. So I'm going to give you a quick test. I'm going to, we're going to put all the lights off and show you what the picture looks like. Um, it is pretty dark outside, so I'm shooting in really unnatural light uh, with the lights off anyway. So I'm going to put it off now and just give you a bit of a screen test without the lights and then with the lights on again. And as you can see now, grainy picture, really, really dark, not going to work. And here we go again with the lights on. Do you see the difference? I certainly do. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you real soon. Cheers.